Hey guys, girls, dudes, yeah, to whatever else you may wish to be called. My name is Zeke Wolf, and welcome to something entirely different, but something I've decided I wanted to make since like a few days ago. This is going to be a video on how to make your voice sound better and audacity. So what we're looking at right now is the unedited commentary file for Kingdom of the Sky Episode 3. As you can see here, the waveforms are really low, and if I were to put this in Premiere as is, my voice would certainly, almost all the time, be cut out by the game and by the music that I add. So we need to make it sound better. Also, let, 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 let's get a quick lesson. Let's get a quick lesson. Let's go back to the intro, right? Hey guys, girls, dudes, that's whatever else you may wish to be called. My name is Zeke Wolf and welcome back to Kingdom of the Sky with my pups. I thought I had five. I know it's been a couple of days since I I forgot I was being a bit sing-songy in that episode. But anyway, let's get down to the process. So the first thing we do and we're going to want to do is apply a noise reduction. This will get rid of any ambient noise in the background. However, I still recommend... If you have a fan, turn the fan off. If too much stuff is reduced from a noise reduction, then it can start messing with your voice. So before we get into the process for this, let's take a look at step two. So this is stuff that I thought was default because I did not remember changing it. However, running through this with 90 recently, I found out that no, this is not. So here are my settings real quick. Noise reduction, set to 12. Sensitivity, set it to 6. Frequency, smoothing bands, set it to 3. Finally, click Get Noise Profile, and that's going to capture a noise point. Then click right over here in the box on the side, go back to Effect and Noise Reduction, hit OK, and it's going to apply the noise reduction for the entire commentary file. So if there is some form of ambient noise, it will remove it. And again, like I said, as long as it's nothing big, nothing that takes up a lot of sound space, it will not affect your voice. Alright, now that that step is done, next thing we're going to do is come back over to this box, hold the control button, and scroll the mouse wheel down. That way we can get a look at the full thing we have going on here. Also, if you can't go through it that way for whatever reason, there are magnifying glasses up here that you can use. One for zooming out, one for zooming in. So our next step is going to be effect and then compressor. So let me run you, th run you through what this is going to do real quick. The main one that we're going to adjust every time is threshold. As for noise floor, Copy the settings, should work fine for you. If it doesn't, let me know and I'll help you through it. So noise floor, set to negative 40. Ratio, we set it to a three to one. Attack time, 0.10 seconds. We want it to activate quickly. And then release time is one second in case we have more commentary right afterwards. Don't want it to mix together oddly. Couldn't think of a good word for that one. So threshold is generally going to be the only one that we touch. And let me explain these. You're going to be using a negative 20 to negative 15 for pretty much any recording. Negative 20 is going to compress it more. So see a long line like this one right over here? It's going to compress it down to probably around here. Negative 15, however, would compress it not as much. For this one, I'm going to use a negative 20 compression. And with that one done, you can see how it has brought the things down to a more manageable level of waveform. So then we have our next step, which is to apply to equalization. My personal favorite part, because this is a part that really makes your voice start sounding good. So effects and equalization and then you have this. So I will leave a download link to these EQ settings in the description down below. 
However, I would highly advise you to take time and adjust it to your own voice. So essentially, what do we have going on here? So we have the bass, the lower tones, boosted up to 6. It's going to create a much warmer voice for you. And it's going to ease down through some mids. Hit a bit of a spike in the mids, and this is to help bring out just like that nice middle tone of your voice between your low and your highs. And finally, we get to the highs for the treble. Add more of that in, and your voice sounds... For me, I've discovered it's less sharp. So then we hit OK. It'll apply the equalization. As you can see, it does do some slight changes to this here. Final few steps are straightforward. First, we go down to Effect and Normalize. So first two boxes, remove DC Offset and Normalize Maximum Amplitude are checked. The box for Maximum Amplitude is negative 1.0. This will normalize the highest sounds to a negative 1.0, so nothing peaks. Give it a second to do its thing. Okay, so next, we're going to go back to effect and hit limiter. Set this to hard limit. Input gain zero for both mono left and right channels. We're going to limit it to a negative 4, and we're going to hold it to 10. Apply makeup gain, no. Apply that new setting, and it's going to bring your higher moments down to a negative 4, like some of these ones that are up here, and then you have some of these lower ones down here. And then we're going to go effect, and normalize, if I could find it, there we go, one more time. And this is going to, again, boost things back up to a negative one. With the hard limiter allowing things to be more smooth. Now, as you can see, that small file that we started at, at the beginning now has nice loud bits. Let, let, let's go back to my intro again. Hey, guys, girls, dudes, that's whatever else you may wish to be called. My name is Zeke Wolf, and welcome back to Kingdom of the Sky with my pups. I thought I had five. I know it's been a couple of days since I last played this, but I'm pretty sure I'd had five. So it sounds a lot better than it did previously. Now there are further things that we could do with this. There are still some sounds that are strictly keyboard clicks. <gasps> there is... There is a Minecraft. Or small vocal things. As you can hear. So what we would do in this case, to eliminate a few of these, but not affect our voice, is to make it play one of those, and see where this bar right here lands. As we can see, it lands at about, I'd say about a 35. Then we can go in here, Effect, Noise Gate. Now this is a plugin for Audacity you do have to download separately, and I will have the link in the description there. As for settings here, Gate, Link Stereo Tracks, Apply Low Cut Filter, no. Gate Frequency is above zero, Level Reduction, negative 30, and Gate Threshold, negative 36. So we are going to change the gate threshold section to a negative 35. And then attack DK, I just keep to 250 milliseconds. So we apply this. And let it do its thing. And as you can see from right over here, it got rid of some of those keyboard clacks. Some of them are still louder and to not risk taking out bits of your voice you may have to touch those up in the video editing process if you want to get rid of them. So now that we're at this point, you're either done, and you're happy with the result, 
or you go back, add another compressor, and then normalize hard limit and normalize again to bring everything to a more straight sound. However, the downside with doing that is you start taking some of the soul out of the voice and everything just sounds at the exact same level. Anyway, I hope this has been informative for you, and hopefully it helps you if your Audacity uses in the future. But I'll see you all next time.